What's going on guys, GeoSnow right here. In today's video we're discussing about Fried Apple Team's presentation at Black Hat about the iOS 9.3.5 jailbreak and about how it works and so on. We're going to get into that, we're going to also get into the information about any releases, if we have anything uh, about the releases and also about uh, the presentation, what you can learn from it. So I'm going to get into it. At first uh, I'm going to show you their official um, Twitter page. I know this is not very important for you, but it's actually m much important than you think. There are a lot of people who actually stole Fried Apple Team's uh, image, the uh, burning uh, Apple logo, and made fake profiles on Twitter and fake websites like this one that I have in here. We talked about this one in a couple of uh, videos ago. And uh, this fake website in here uh, says iOS 10.2 untethered jailbreak, we make jailbreaks and so on, fried apple team. They have their logo in here and it's very poorly made. But if you click in here it uh, gives you that uh, scam shit with the, uh, you know, a fake jailbreak that uh, it's that kind of jailbreak that only installs a uh, fake version of Cydia. Anyways, if you're trying to actually follow the real fried apple team for any updates, you should go ahead and on Twitter and follow this account is in the description down below. Now, uh, they do not have a website, an established website. Their website, friedapple.team, actually redirects to their Twitter. So do not get fooled by the scammers because a lot of people now, um, a lot of scammers that are actually behind these uh, the scams now found out that Fried Apple team name is now... Um, creating some sound in the jailbreak community and they're going to actually make profit over it. So pay attention. Now their presentation uh, has been a jailbreak DIY or do it yourself. And you probably remember from the schedule, it was on Black Hat Asia 2017, which is uh, which has started on 28. And today was the day when they had the presentation, as you can see, March 30, in which they discussed about an untethered 9.0 to 9.3.x, including 9.3.5 jailbreak, and how is created, how the exploits work, the ROP, the ga ROP gadgets, the kernel patches, and the uh, patch finders, kernel analysis, and so on. This might not look very important, for those of you who only want a jailbreak, but it's much more uh, important for those of you who want to develop something like that in the future. You can find their presentation. Um, for those of you who, who are actually um, very impatient, no, they didn't release a jailbreak yet. I'm going to keep you updated on that. But for those of you who are interested in the presentation they, they uh, held on the uh, Black Hat, you can find it on uh, on their official GitHub in here. I'm going to link it in the description down below. And this presentation is very, very good made. It explains very well how the jailbreak works, how the patching works, how the iOS security works, um, the difference between untethered and tethered, the um, attack types, being it application archive, IPA based, or USB, or WebKit, SMS, basement, as it says in, on the slide. And uh, the making of a jailbreak, how to do it if you have bugs, how, how to do it if you do not have bugs. Yes, you can still create a jailbreak if you do not have your own bugs, because you can use, uh, you can reuse the bugs that are publicly uh, available. For example, from exploit uh, database or any other um, exploit repository. Uh, anyways, the implementation, they talk about arbitrary code execution and any other strategies that are actually used in a real jailbreak. Now, what this means, this means that they are actually real. So if they're going to release a jailbreak sooner or later, we do not have any information if they are going to release what they have. We do know they have been working on a jailbreak for iOS 9.3.5 lately. Actually, I think uh, at the uh, beginning of the year. Oh no, actually uh, they have information about this jailbreak they've been working on, uh, even on December 2016. So it's kind of an old thing. And now at least we do know that Fried Apple team is a real team uh, with a real um, uh, with real hackers, with real developers uh, in which we can trust. And we might consider them for uh, future releases. For the moment, they have nothing um, said on their Twitter about any releases of any jailbreak. They only said... Um, for the moment that the video from their talk is going to be available. Maybe they talk about any releases in the video, I do not know. But I'm going to keep you updated if they release something. And of course you're going to find out on the channel uh, when I'm publishing the video if you subscribe. Anyways, this is uh, the official Black Hat channel that you can um, you can find it. I just wrote Fried Apple Team Jailbreak and I found the Black Hat, but you can simply find the link in the description down below and subscribe. Probably this is where they're going to, to put the videos and including the presentation of Fried Apple Team about their jailbreak and about jailbreaking strategies. 
And uh, as I said, you can find our presentation in here, which is very, very well made, especially if you're interested in how this jailbreak works, because everybody is jailbreaking, but not everybody understands how a jailbreak works. If you're interested into that, you can find it in here. And yeah, some people um, might ask, would they actually release something? For the moment, we do not know. They didn't say anything on their Twitter. But as you can see, they're not actually releasing very much uh, of tweets in uh, in their profile. The uh, la latest one was on January 26th. Then uh, they retweeted today some of the things. So they're not very active on Twitter um, compared with Luca Tedesco. So uh, do not expect them to actually uh, blast you with information on their Twitter. Probably they are using the same uh, methods Pangu is using when releasing, not telling anybody about the releases to avoid any patches, to avoid any um, pressure from the uh, general public and so on. So we're going to give them time. Probably they're not even home by that time because they, they actually presented uh, today. The, uh, their presentation about the jailbreak. So um, if this was held in Asia and they're Americans, they're probably not even home. So let's give them some time to see if they're going to release anything or not. But at least we do know that they are actually real jailbreakers and they do know how to create a jailbreak. So we can put our trust in them for the jailbreaks in the future. If they're going to release the iOS 9.3.5 untethered jailbreak that they've been working on, I'm going to keep you updated. And of course, you're going to see a tutorial on how to use it. Till the next time, I'm Geos now. I really hope I get things clear about this um, the Sprite Apple team. And I really, I'm really very happy about the fact that they are real and about the fact that they are uh, a real team we can count on uh, for the next jailbreaks. Because uh, as you probably know, Liquid Tedesco has finally uh, gave up to the jailbreaking. And I, I can't really blame that guy. I mean, the community is not very, very good. And the community tends to put a lot of pressure uh, on the uh, on the jailbreakers. That's why they're working in stealth mode. That's why they're not saying when they're going to release. Because if they say, a lot of people will, will start bashing them to release faster and faster and faster. Those, they're not able to concentrate on their work. So this is why they do that. And this is why Tedesco um, stopped making jailbreaks. So having a new team into that, that we do know it's real because on Black Hat, we can have fakers. Um, it's actually very, very good. I'm going to keep you updated as I say till the next time. Geosnow here. Peace out.